Hi, my lovely people. Today is Wednesday, a.k.a. hump day. But you know what? We're going to start making uh, it Women's Wednesday over here because there is a lot that has been going on on these YouTube streets with the women. And I am just getting so tired of it because these men are starting to win over on the women. Now, guys, we have to talk about Miss Peach. Now, we'll start off with this comment. I wonder what you guys thought about this. It says, I saw this on TikTok, looked on Facebook, seen it. Now I'm here. You really posted all this. And I'm not going to go into it. She says she wants to slap her. And that's, that's crazy to me. But then she says that pretty much you keep on saying that you're going to die for a man and giving a man more than he is willing to give you. And I saw this comment under the videos. If you guys did not know, Miss Peach came out here yesterday. And I'm not going to lie. When I seen it, I'm a woman. So my first thought was, wow, she is truly, truly broken. And that's how I felt. And I so this video isn't to make fun. It is more to tell the truth. Because when I seen it, the first thought I had was, man, I feel bad for you. Then the second thought I had was, but you get on here lying every day and telling us how happy you are, how much he loves you. You go making these videos. You go, you know, shopping for him. Y'all are going on vacation. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why you're portraying the funk. And then when a reactor or someone comes along and they tell you, sis, this is just not working. The look he gives you on camera is just not working. The story that you give us and then his look and his actions, they just do not mix together. Do you hear me? And so when she did the video crying, I really felt bad. And then I thought to myself, when she said the words right here, he says he wants his family, but his actions don't match his words. I thought, my, oh my, what has he done this time? Typically when a woman says, his actions don't match his words and follow it with. He says he wants his family. It typically means there was some infidelity or there was something that he did that was so outrageous that you just can't take it anymore. Now, once again, I'm hoping it's not infidelity, but if it is, it would not shock me because it's something that has been going on in and out of their marriage. And see, Peach, it's what you tolerate. Honey, the first time he put his hands on you, the first time he cheated on you, that should have been the last time. If you continue to tolerate the crap, it will continue to come up in life. I just hope for all women on here, because y'all, these have these days that we are in now, there are women coming out the woodwork to expose these men. So you know, if he done messed up, here comes a woman. Mm -mm -mm. Here comes a woman. That is going to tell her side of the story. It's just going to be a hot mess. See, Peach, when you were joking about divorce a few months ago, have you ever heard if you keep speaking about it, then it eventually will happen? You were out here just the other day mm -hmm, telling us don't ask about your marriage. Don't ask about divorce. Don't bring up my marriage no more. We happy. You were just up here saying that you were FNF. And, you know, you were F free. And then this happens. You were just bending over, shaking your tail feather, and then this happens. So what happened in exactly one day mm -hmm, to now that says it's time for a divorce? But y'all, this right here took me out. She came with another video. She came with another video and she began cutting her braids off. She began to cut her hair down to the scalp. She had a look on her face that was very deranged, very hurt, very traumatic, Something bad happened, and I'm almost, y'all, if I had to guess, I would say cheating, pregnancy, or something like that, and she found out, because I'm going to tell you guys something. For a woman to cut her hair off, they have got to be going through something strong, and if, if cutting the hair off was not a strong enough thing for you, it was the look on her face. It was like, oh, I don't care. I don't care about nothing right now. And typically when a woman goes to cutting her hair, that's what's on her mind. She's not really giving a care about what's going on in the world. I will say, Peach, do not let any man, anybody in your life or anything dictate you to where you have to literally cut your hair off. Now, let me tell y'all something. I've been there and I've done that. That's my real hair in this photo. And it was very, very long. Here it goes again. 
And there's a pile of hair when I began cutting it. And I ended up with, bam, that. Barely, absolutely nothing on my head. I was going through something and I decided that it was best for me to cut my hair off. And so I understand the hurt that you have to be going through. I've seen people do it. You feel like, well, if I make this big change, then maybe I'll feel better. Sometimes you feel like if you cut off your old hair, that it will take away your old past problems and things in your mind. And I'm going to tell you, it really, it doesn't. You just wake up the next day and you think, what have I done to myself? Why am I doing this to myself? And this is another thing. Um, when she said it's really sad, this caught me. She said it's really, really sad to love someone more than they love you. What made me confused with that statement was Peach told us the reason she stopped the filing for the divorce is because he told her, all I want to do is spend time with you and be up under you and you work too much. If that was the case, that little situation could have been worked out. But then we've also seen Peach say, well, I want to be in my husband's skin. So that makes me believe that Peach, he's giving you nothing that you need in life. Blowing these bags and being out here on vacation is still not happiness. If you ain't happy inside, you ain't going to be happy on the outside. And I'm telling you, it's showing all over your face. So now she's saying there's going to be a divorce. Well, let me tell you something. I would have divorced a man a long time ago and focused on my career. This is a true story of money cannot buy happiness. When I look at Peach, I say, oop, this is a true story of money can't buy happiness. Because y'all, yesterday, mm-hmm, now it's time for the read. Because see, Miss Peach, yesterday you were out here telling us uh, what kind of tax bracket you were in. You were out here bragging about how much money your website made, what you had on sale. You were also bragging about how you were going to be going back to Walmart, back to City Trends. You were going to be doing shopping. You were going to blow bags when you wanted to. You said everything attached to Peach win. But honey, that can't be true. If everything attached to you wins, then your marriage would be winning. Uh-huh. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. This woman seriously needs counseling. I've always thought watching Peach in the past that she was a little off because she always mentioned things and her family and how she felt like the black sheep. And if you can't love yourself fully, you surely can't love anyone else. I thought she was mending it with all her funny laughing jokes. Y'all know I'm a funny person. And some days when I'm feeling down, that's when I feel like I need to be the funniest because I need to smile. I need to feel like I need to be brought up and see that's the problem. Peach is covering it up with rapping and everything else. Peach, girl, you cut all your hair off. Let that sink in. You cut your hair off. Now you have no choice but to wear a wig with that tacky hairline. You cut your hair off. Now, unless you're going to go get a fade and just rock it on out, then girlfriend, that's what be my suggestion. And let me tell you something. Everyone in the comments, I want to say this really quick. Everybody in the comments kept saying, well, why didn't you try counseling? Why didn't you try counseling? If you are a person that cannot love yourself through and through, and I'm going to tell y'all something, honey, I am a big fan of counseling. I have been in counseling. I do counseling. I still see my counselor from time to time. I believe in counseling. But the very first bit of counseling that Pete should have taken, and, and forget about wood, forget about wood. The first piece of counseling you should have took was to get yourself healthy because then you would have made yourself stronger for when he does this. Now, I know what y'all going to say. A lot of women going to say, oh, well, you know, and I look at both sides of it. We're going to say, oh, well, they've had domestic disputes. He has outside children. Did she believe that he was going to be loyal and that he was going to stick with her through thick and thin? And my answer would be no. My answer would be no. Whatever is going on in that house, he wants his family. He can be around his kids without being around you. And we've seen that. That's the problem, Peach. We've seen him be more into his children than he is to you. That was the first signal. The first signal of it is every time you guys go on vacation or, or anything like that, he's rather be with the kids. Did y'all notice that? When they were at Disney World, he was spending more time with the kids. He don't want to spend time with you. When he's at home and you put a pool up, he wants to get in the pool with the kids. He wants to have fun. He wants to play squirt guns. And you put that all on here to make him look like a good father. And when you put that video up here, the first thing that I thought was, boy, he's dodging her for some reason. He's using those kids to dodge you. Now, y'all, this is where some BS comes into play. 
You got a content home. Uh uh, I don't believe that. I believe she's been staying in that house because she's been unhappy and there's been problems going on. And I think that was her way of smoothly exiting the scene that she's in. So now your content home is probably going to be the home that you're going to be living in, right? Or is Wood going to take the content home and you're going to be more at home? Or since he wants the family and you're saying you need a break from the kids, or as she said, um, I love my kids, but my kids don't make money. I wonder how this is going to go. And I cannot wait to see down in the comments what you guys say. Do you think um, Wood is going to stay at the house with the kids and Peach is going to be at her content house? Or do you think it's going to be vice versa? Because I'm sorry, well, what Peach is going through, I think if um, her and Daddy really do go with this divorce, she's going to go whack whack. Mm -hmm. She's going to go whack whack. I don't think she can stand strong without him. So y'all got to let me know what y'all think. And see, this is one thing I love about this chat over here is we know how to be, you know, controversial. Um, we put down our comments. I know everybody was in my live tonight saying, Storm, go take a look at this. And y'all, by the time I looked at it, she had that video and that haircut video. And I'm going to say, this is the end of the road. Now, what would pee me off with Peach is if tomorrow she gets on here and she's all happy and everything is patched back up. And then if you ask her, well, what about all this stuff you just went through and what you just said yesterday? And then she cock an attitude. I'm sorry. I only can take her as about as serious as I can take it when Rocket is barking. Because you have to just wait to see what is truly going to happen. Because we heard about a divorce quite some time ago. I don't know, guys. We're going to have to stay on this. This might be a double upload because as the day goes on, We'll know she doesn't take a day off. So she may be putting up some old shorts or whatever she did put in her community post that she was going to be doing school shopping. So we are going to have to see exactly what goes on. And I'll see you guys down in the comments. Please let me know what you are thinking about this subject. This is a big one. See you guys later.